So The Substance was directed by Coralie Forget, and it stars Demi Moore, Margaret Qualley, and Dennis Quaid. In this movie, a fading star in Hollywood, played by Demi Moore, begins taking this black market item known as The Substance to kind of rejuvenize her, kind of like make her look younger and such. So when an actual, so when a younger version of herself appears from The Substance, uh, things begin happening and things go way off the rails when there's misuse of The Substance. So this was a movie that I've been hearing about for a while. It's been debuting at various film festivals and such. It's been getting a lot of praise, particularly from Demi Moore's performance. Also, it won the Best Screenplay Award at Cannes. I'm like, that's pretty interesting, considering that they're also kind of trying to hide a lot of this movie from the ads and such. And I was definitely curious to see this movie. I thought it was going to go straight to streaming because movie is a streaming service. It's like, why would you put this in theaters? It's like, you have your own streaming service right there. But not only am I glad that this movie is playing in theaters, but that it's actually playing in theaters near me. I actually got to see this in the theater not too far from, my, from where I live. So I'm like, really glad for that. And wow, this movie is an experience. This is a movie that whether you like it or hate it, you're going to remember it. This is a movie that is going to be one of those movies that it's going to be incredibly divisive, I feel like. But honestly, I actually really enjoyed this movie. This, yikes, this movie is a lot. But I'm not going to forget this movie. So what do I like about this movie? First off, I thought all the performances were fantastic. Demi Moore in this movie is incredible. I thought, you know, normally I don't watch a lot of stuff with Demi Moore in it. But like this movie, this is her best performance from what I've seen. I thought she was incredible. I thought she was very well done. I thought she, her character was very fascinating. I do think she conveys the character very well. Margaret Qualley is also very well done in this movie. She's very good in this movie as well. I thought her character was also kind of fascinating as well. How she was like kind of like the younger version of this character and such. I'm like, that's very well done. Like how they kind of like interact in some way. Like how they kind of play off each other even though they don't have screen time together. It is kind of fascinating to see like how they handle it. And also Dennis Quaid in this movie... He's pretty creepy in this movie, too, and there's something about his character that's just weirdly, like, both in control and both out of control at the same time, and I'm like, his, 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 his character is very, like, you kind of want to laugh at a lot of the stuff he does, but it's so uncomfortable at times, so a lot of the stuff that he does, it's like, yikes. And I do think that the visual style of this movie is very well done. It is an absolutely gorgeous movie, from the cinematography to the editing at times. It's, uh, there are definitely some moments where it's like, it definitely pays homage to a lot of other things from, obviously, Cronenberg and such, but also to Stanley Kubrick at times, and also, strangely, to Disney. I'm like, that is very fascinating. Like, all these different types of movies in this one obscure body horror-esque movie. It is very fascinating. The score is also very well done as well. It, there are very techno-heavy vibes throughout this entire movie, and kind of brings like an 80s vibe to it through the score because it kind of feels like it's like one of those scores from the 80s like because like it kind of just feels like the music kind of like feels like it comes from that era and such and also the movie doesn't have like a techno score throughout there are actually kind of more subtle scores in this movie particularly in various scenes with Demi Moore's version of the character I do think the score is very well done and this movie can be funny both intentionally and unintentionally again there's some things I mentioned where I'm like, oh, this movie, I'm uncomfortable, but all I can really do is laugh in these scenes. And I do think that's very effective. I do think there, there are times where it's, like, it's actually kind of funny in a dark, satirical kind of way. Um, also, I do think that some of the effects in this movie are very well done. I'm, I'd be really curious to see like how some of these were actually accomplished. Like They just kind of get better as the movie goes on, and I'm like, whoa, like that took a lot of time I hope like that looks incredible there's a lot of detail there and I'm like that is very creative there is a lot of there's a lot in this movie and also what I really like about this movie too is how they kind of make a lot of things that appear normal but feel abnormal like from eating to using the bathroom it just kind of feels like very abnormal stuff but there are times where it's like these are very uh, normal things are happening but they're presented normally and like that's a very interesting way of putting these things together and i'm like wow that's that's very fascinating like i'm more uncomfortable by someone just eating shrimp than i am by some things that are just happening in this movie i'm like that's pretty interesting and also i do think that there's some moments where it's like there's no dialogue at at, at all like there's like this 10 minute period where there's no line of dialogue said once and i was like you know, if I was making this movie, I would probably throw a line of dialogue in, but after seeing the whole scene, I'm like, no, I would not do that. And I feel like that would ruin the entire scene. It is pretty effective at times. Sometimes what they can get away with without saying a word is actually pretty effective. And also, there are some moments in this movie where I feel like it's without a doubt imperfect. I feel like this movie is not subtle. And I think that's kind of the point of this movie, where it's like, 
it's clearly in your face and it's just unabashed about what it's trying to say. And normal, some of the time I'm like, you know, I don't like that with movies, but I feel like for a movie like this, I feel like it's more effective because like of the style itself, how it's just presented. It's just so unique in that way. It's like, this is a movie that I feel like it takes everything that is trying to say. It's definitely throws in your face. But again, because of some of the things that they're trying to say, it's like, it kind of makes sense a bit. It's a weird movie. It's a very, very weird movie. So let's talk about some of the things I don't really like about this movie. First off, there are a couple storylines in this movie that I thought were just kind of dropped, which I won't dive into, but like there's some characters are introduced, but they kind of like kind of get to know them a little bit, but they don't really play too much in the end. And there's also some questions about the actual substance itself where I'm like, um, you could explain that a little bit better. Like you have like all these very vague rules and such to kind of show like how to use it and such, but some things just don't really make sense and I don't want to go into it because I'm afraid it would be spoilers if there would be spoilers for it but like um you could answer a few more of those questions and also the last third in this movie is kind of where you will either love this movie or hate this movie and I still enjoyed it but I feel like the first two acts are very fast paced and I kind of like was just really into it for the first two acts of this movie the third act I wasn't quite in it as much but I still felt like it was just constantly move I felt like the third act kind of like was trying to throw a lot and try to throw as many endings as possible kind of like trapped it but I feel like the tr this, these endings are a lot more creative honestly um but again the third act kind of like draws a lot of things out and I feel like at times it's like oh this could be the ending of this movie oh no this is not the ending well this is the ending of this movie oh this is not the ending either oh this is the ending okay that's an interesting ending it kind of goes back to the you know subtlety of this movie which doesn't exist and also, I feel like this movie is either going to... I feel like this movie is going to piss off a lot of people. Um, I feel, again, this movie is playing in pretty much every theater. Again, it's playing near me, so it's definitely playing in a wide release. This movie, I feel like a lot of people are going to hate it because it's too much. Either there's too much of the insanity, particularly in that last act, which is just balls to the walls bonkers. And the third act, also, also again, the subtlety of this movie, which is just non-existent. I feel like a lot of people are going to hate this movie for one of the two reasons. And I would still give this movie a chance. This movie is very well acted. Everyone in this movie across the board does a fantastic job. Uh, the score is very well done. The visual style is very interesting. The editing is very well done. The humor, whether intentional or unintentional, is very well done as well. The makeup effects are incredible. If this doesn't get a Best Makeup nomination at the Oscars, I would be upset. Um, the normal things looking abnormal and vice versa is very effective. The no dialogue in various scenes is also very effective as well. There are some scenes where it's like, it may feel imperfect, but that kind of leads to like what I actually kind of like about this movie, that it is kind of imperfect. So, and even though some storylines I feel like could have been either scrapped entirely or developed a little bit better or some pacing in that third act. And also the fact that I know a lot of people are probably going to walk out of this movie absolutely hating it. I think at least one person walked out of my screening. But I feel like this movie, again, this movie's not going to be for everyone. If you're a fan of Cronenberg and such, or if you're kind of like one of those cinephiles, definitely check this movie out. Um, check this movie out if you're like, I would definitely say watch this movie at some point. For me, as a big movie buff, I'm actually really glad that I got to see this movie. I will give the, I will give this, the substitute, the substance, uh, I feel bad. I said the wrong title for this movie. I'll give the substance three and a half out of four stars. See it. So, again, I'm going to say, like, you know, that was imperfect of me. So, it's kind of weird. This is a very weird movie. This is a very weird review for a very weird movie. A very imperfect review for an imperfectly perfect movie. So, the substance. What did you think about it? Also, what is a horror genre? What is a subgenre of horror that you're a fan of? Whether that's, like, slasher or body horror. Uh, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. This is Pat. Stay safe.